Hi Leo, this is Patricia Luna from Cosmic Moonshot Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your mid-month reading for the month of September in 2018. For the new Leos that are here, I want to thank you uh, thank you for uh, choosing my channel. Thank you for all being here. And for the Leos that have been with me from the beginning, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the love and the support that you have given, given me within this channel or on this journey. So <clears throat> before I start the reading, I do have a few announcements to make. I am booked for the month of September for reading, so I do not, I will not be taking any more readings for the month of September. Uh, October is almost getting filled up, so if you do want to reserve a session with me, you will have to reserve now for the month of October. If not, um, if you do come to me in the month of October asking for a reading, I will be booked. I'm always booked a month, a month and a half advance sometimes. So um, for those of you that do want to come for a reading and to reserve a spot, you have to uh, contact me at on my email as uh, con uh, sorry cosmicmoonchildtarot 1111 at gmail.com. For others of you that have an iPad or an iPhone, you, you could ask me a quick question on Instant Go. So that's www.instantgo.com slash cosmicmoonchildtarot 1111. And uh, sometimes I do give free mini readings. Now, when I say that, it doesn't mean that I'm going to give you one-on-one -on -one free mini readings. It means that I will go on Instagram live and I will do readings for each sign, okay? And uh, it's going to be like a general reading. So you could follow me there at Patricia underscore 1111. And for inspiration, you could follow me on Facebook, if you like, uh, at Patricia Luna. So let's get started with your reading. So as you can see here, I'll put the camera down a bit so that you could see. Okay, here we go. You have pack number one, pack number two, and you have pack number three. I shuffle the cards pre, uh, pre, uh, bef before doing the reading and put your energy in it uh, in asking the angels and Archangel Michael, okay, if there's other messages that they want to tell you, they will tell you through these cards. And I would like you to choose a pack only, okay? I prefer that you choose a pack and not choose the whole all three of them because the messages will be really for you if you really listen with your heart and intuitively choose which pack you would like to have okay so for those of you that want pack number one okay I will put them right here and at the end of the reading oops I think this is high this is my camera okay at the end of the reading I will open them this is for pack number two okay pack number two and this is for pack number three Okay, so you choose, take your time to choose into really, like take a step back and see what, what pack uh, you feel more connected to. Okay, let's start with your reading. <clears throat> this is for um, Leo. Leo. Sun, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages? I feel a lot of things are going to come into balance for you, Leo. Um, some of you are dealing with a Libra, okay, or you're dealing uh, with a Libra or another fire sign like you. I feel that in the month of October, things will be fair and just for you. Uh, I feel a lot of you are um, wanting to show your, your creative side as well. You're going forward with your life <clears throat> in a certain way. <clears throat> I feel a lot of you, your emotions will be in a better place. Because September is really a month where you're you're going within and um, you're not really going out. A lot of you are not going out. I feel like you're staying home, uh, you're meditating, you 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 rather be in your home environment. I feel like I'll, some of you will be getting messages from a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. I feel a lot of love messages or just messages, very passionate messages is, that are going to be coming in for you because something that is destined to come towards you, there's something that's destined and there's going to be a lot of celebration, I feel, okay, with family and friends, okay. Um, I see short-term plans with someone. Now, it doesn't have to be a uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. It could be any sign because it's a general reading. And just take what resonates with you. And if it does, the rest does not resonate, just let it go. Okay? Just, you have to understand I am reading for a collective and I'm reading for a lot of people on my channel that are Leo. I also feel there's a Capricorn here or someone is addicted to someone or bonded to someone or um, and there's a decision, some of you that have to make a decision. 
What are the messages? There's someone like trying to get away with something I feel here. Okay, I don't know if those are secrets. I feel some of you uh, are not looking at things uh, in a grateful way. You're looking at things that went wrong and you're not looking at the blessings around you. But I do see victory here. I also see someone that is like uh, very well respected. This could be you, Leo, okay? And there's some, something that you're not wanting to see for others of you, okay? This could be with, uh, someone that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Again, um, this could be financially as well, okay? An ending of a difficult situation. I feel a lot of you have been working very hard on a project or project, something created here, okay? I also see a soulmate energy as well, okay? Um, some of you are dealing with a broken heart, okay? Uh, maybe this happened in the month of September, Maybe this has to do with a Virgo or someone that came in trying to offer you something. Others of you, this has to do with a divine partner, a.k.a. Twin Flame. Because divine timing is here for you. Okay, I do see divine timing behind the scenes for you. And something that is going to be long term. Okay, long term. A lot of passion here. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the cards. What are the messages for Leo? Okay. One. I'm going to turn them around. Two. Three. I'm going to put the cards down first, and then after that, I will talk about the cards and show you which cards. Leo Midland. Okay. Oops. <laughs> that card went flying. Let me get it. Okay. I feel for uh, for some of you, this has to do with your Leo energy from the month of, of, of August, okay, where you start seeing things more clearly. And you're still uh, within yourself in the month of September, okay? There's a gift that came towards you from the divine. And the divine gave you the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords talks about communi you communicating clearly, seeing things clearly, uh, cutting through the fog, okay, uh, for some of you. And uh, speaking the truth, seeing, like seeing, like... Um, and this, I feel, happened in the month of August when it was Leo season, when it was your season, like your birthday season. And it's still continuing in the month of September, okay? Um, I see that you're moving forward with your life. But I, I feel for some of you, you are a lot in your mind. You're worried about something, okay? But um, these are fears, okay? They're like... Um, not sleeping at night a lot of you have insomnia and sometimes i feel over here that um you, there's a kind of unstableness about you or your emotions are not you're not feeling well in your emotions i'll show you after in a second let me just finish this uh, last row here and then i'll uh, clarify some cards if i uh if i i need to okay what are the messages here for leo mid-month for September. Come on. What do Leos need to know? What do Leos need to know? Please show me what Leos need to know. need to know. Please show me. Okay. Okay, here we go. 
got the last of the cards. One, two, three. Okay, now I'll get to the cards after. Now we got the nine of swords, okay, where you're worrying, a lot of you are worrying a lot, okay, you feel in the dark, maybe, you feel, um, you can't figure things out, okay, for some of you. You also got the ten of swords, so this is an ending of a difficult situation. I feel a lot of you have been feeling betrayed, okay, um, or you went through like a dark a dark period in your life recently, maybe in the last year or so. I feel that your emotions took a toll on you as well. Or some of you are dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces that were was not emotionally available. Um, they were not in their element, okay? This has to do with a divine partner. Okay, the lover's card is a, for me, divine partner, AKA twin flame. Okay, I see a separation here. Okay, and I, and I know that this is, has to do with a soulmate or a twin flame. I because I got the the uh, the king and the queen of of uh, wands reversed, so not being available for each other. Okay, this has to do with some kind of commitment. So you're dealing with a Taurus, something that is coming through, but it's reversed right now because it's not the right time. Okay, is that uh, the judgment, okay, being destined, okay, to be with each other, being destined, uh, it's meant to be, but right now it's reversed because there's a lot of this going on, okay? I feel that a lot of you are feeling like you're stuck, you're in your mind a lot, you're thinking a lot. You feel like you can't move past this. This for some of you, this could have been, this could have been a third party situation. Okay, it could have been, but it doesn't have to be. This is something that your dreams came true. Okay, so your dreams came true. Okay, for some of you, maybe on a financial way, financially. Okay, so for those of you who are probably dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but there's a sense that someone is mocking someone here. Okay, someone is mocking someone. So this these cards did fly out at the end. So I'm going to keep them here. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. You will be receiving a message that's going to be coming out of the blue, out of nowhere. Okay, because I feel there's going to be a, a new beginning in finances in the home for you. But something is delayed for you right now, okay, in the month of September. And some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. And if you're not dealing with a Scorpio, someone ended a relationship that was a divine partnership that maybe they didn't, maybe you, you do not want this. You do not want this because you're separated here because of the, you know, from like the eight. Look at this. I'm going to show you something. Okay. The eight, the nine, and the ten. Leo, from the eight, you're feeling stuck and you feel that like you couldn't move from a situation. You're worrying. You have you can't sleep at night, okay? And the ten being backstabbed, come like this is someone that went through hell, okay? But you're rising from it. You see, because the sun is here and it's shining, so you will. This is an end of a difficult situation, but the hurt is still there. I do feel that, okay? Because someone around you was just maybe playing games with you you know not being honest because Leo you did get clarity the divine came through to give you this clarity and I feel that a lot of you have to communicate okay so now I'm gonna go into I'm gonna take other cards to clarify now I won't clarify each card I'll clarify the card just the cards that I'm led to Okay, just to get more of a situation to see what's going on here. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed? Queen or King, it doesn't matter because it's a general reading. If this does not resonate with you, always look at your Rising sign and your Moon sign. Okay. Yeah. This has, a, that, this has to be, do with a situation 
with um, I think this has to do with a twin part, a twin flame union that uh, there was a third party situation happening here. Someone from your past or past life, of course, okay? And secrets are out, okay? The secret was out in the month of September. Some of you found out the truth. And that is why you are not sleeping at night and you're crying a lot. Again, the three. I keep getting the three, all kinds of... When I get a lot of threes here, it's showing me that some of you were dealing with a, someone that had maybe, if it wasn't a third party situation or this person was talking to a lot of, of people around them and uh, they, you know, even though that you wanted this commitment, okay, to come through, it's not in divine timing here for some of you. Some of you have a hard time you you um again i got here i'll show you hold on a second you got it twice scorpio card this could be um also if it doesn't have to be scorpio but this could also mean that someone cut off somebody here completely okay stop talking to them i do see that resisting the changes as well, or someone was trying to resist the changes. I don't know whose energy I'm picking up here, but you will know as soon as I, you hear this reading. You're trying to make long-term plans with this person, but things were moving into a way that they weren't moving very quickly they weren't moving in the way that you wanted them to move. Like the relationship was stagnant, I feel, even though you were trying to make long-term plans with this person. Even though like, there was like, I feel like it didn't elevate, okay? as, But a lot of you, you got a quick message coming in. Here, you got the two cards, the same thing. You will be receiving a quick message, I feel, in the month of October. Now, if this, if for some of you, it will be for a closure. For others of you, it will not mean that because you have to understand a twin flame is not a normal relationship. It's not like, um, a, like a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. The divine partner relationship is very delicate. It's very painful. Um, and I do have, I do bring uh, two people. I always bring twin flames together. Some of them do not come together because uh, too much hurt. And uh, there's a lot of work to do when it has to do with a twin flame. Now, I almost saw, I'm also seeing here a soulmate energy. Maybe some of you met someone in the month of August, or if it's not in the month of August, okay, it's going to be in the last week of um or second or last week of september there is going to be a soulmate energy that's around here for you okay two people coming in together sharing love a decision was made and you're wishing to be with this person there's a lot of wishes here. Oh, no, there's a new beginning. Sorry. There's a new beginning. You got the Ten of Cups with the soulmate energy. Maybe you're dealing with another Leo. If not, the sun is really shining on this, okay? And um, it's a beautiful love. It's a beautiful truth. This is like a soulmate, okay? Soulmate relationship coming in for you. And the sun is really shining on this. I am picking up a lot of messages here for a lot of people. I feel it's going to be very successful. You did get the Six of Wands. Why is the Four of Pentacles reversed here? Oops. You're looking at things in details. I feel a lot of you took a step back and you're looking at papers, you're looking things in details, okay? Um, 
You're trying to find your passion, and you're reevaluating everything, like from A to Z. Like you're going through a lot of text messages. If that's not the case, you're looking at everything from like, you're looking at it from a different way. This is what I feel. Now, for those of you, <clears throat> I didn't notice here, there's a five, the king of cups. This could be a king or a queen, it doesn't matter. This could be the person you were dealing with or someone. This is for someone else here. This is like another reading where I'm getting, again, the two five of swords, okay, that came out here. Okay, someone playing tricks on you, someone mocking you, um, someone having to have the final say. If not, they're not happy. They don't care who they hurt along the way. They're doing it for vengeance. Here I see that. There are going to be a lot of messages between you and this person. A lot, a lot of messages. On This is uh, social media. <clears throat> Text messages. I feel that this person is not available. They're not available. They keep coming in your life. They're, and I feel a lot of you are <clears throat> putting a stop to it. Or for others of you, you're just letting the person do whatever they want. If they want to come in, they come in. If they don't, they don't. They don't. I feel that for some of you. I did get that you're going to get, and you got, you got the Ace of Pentacles coming towards you. This could be in the end of, uh, uh, sorry, in the end of September, okay? Uh, money coming towards you. This is a pro, I feel for some of you, you, you've been working on a project. You've been working very hard. You probably launched a project, okay, out there, and you're just waiting for the fruits of labor to come in. They will be coming in, in divine timing, and I feel that you will be very stable, Okay, or some of you are partnering up, you are partnered up with a Taurus that is helping you in some way. You're trying to make short-term plans with this person here. But it did not come in fruition. It didn't come together. I feel that some of you had taken a break from someone. It shows me here. You had to go through a healing process. A lot of you are dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here maybe a friendship or something, because if you are dealing with a divine partner, okay, um, sometimes they go through hell before they come back together. And, uh, you know, there is a soul mission that you are here to do on this earth. Some of you will not go back to this divine partner because there is a soulmate energy that's coming in that's going to be very successful. It's going to be like all your dreams are going to be coming true, okay? You are going to be getting a healing. 
as well. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. I see someone coming in trying to offer you love here. Making all your dreams come true. I do see that for some of you. That your dreams will be coming true. There's also an opportunity for money to come in for you. Some of you are trying to teach yourself how to do tarot. You're learning about it. Or you're seeing someone that is a psychic. Or you're going and see someone that's a psychic. Or this is you that is trying to... Um, teach yourself how to read cards or how to start channeling okay because there's a new this is uh your a lot of you are opening up your own channel on youtube i see that okay and uh it's an opportunity where you could be independent and make your own money but you're looking for the signs to make sure first if this is what you really want to do okay some of you are also becoming healers as well. You're taking your Reiki 1 and 2. And some of you are going to the Master Reiki. I see that. And you're going to be healing animals. I see that you're going to be healing animals in the nature. Like in nature. Animals. Just animals in general. All animals. You're working very hard. Oops. And again, on the second time, I saw that you will be getting clarity. Oh my God. Let me just get the card here. Got the Ace of Swords twice. This is about communicating clearly. Communicate clearly. Decide what you want now and communicate it. Talk. Use your throat chakra. Uh, also talks about seeing things clearly psychicness as well okay um talks about uh cutting through the dark the um uh, cutting through the fog and seeing things for what they really are so i hope you enjoyed your reading um leo now we're gonna go into the packs okay so this is for um uh, whoever that chose pack number one this is pack number one you got new beginnings and a fresh start okay so archangel your prayer is thank you for bringing new opportunities and uh, offering support and for helping me release and heal my past fill me with trust as i experience these new these life changes i do see that for a lot of you there is a new beginning happening here in finance and in love a lot of you uh, so for some of you they're asking you to let go of control issue let go allow this 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 situation to unfold naturally you also got the three of cups here Okay, uh, and it says, uh, reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationship or children. It does not only have to be that, but I also feel this has to do with uh, finances as well. And they're asking you not to stop. They're saying don't stop. That's what the angels are saying. And the last card you got is fellow travelers. Support is all around you, Leo. That was for pack number one. For pack number two, they're asking you to make a commitment. Archangel Michael is the angel of courage and confidence. You could call upon him to lend him to lend him your his strength. Allow him to commit. Allow yourself to commit. He wants you to to help, sorry. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to everyone and and uh, every uh, to every experience. So you allow you have to make a commitment, and also commitment to where which of, of of your soul path I feel here. Okay, having Archangel Michael is awesome. For others of you, it says free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, Leo. Some of you are dealing with a King of Swords. Okay, keep your eyes on the big picture and leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success, genuine concern for other people. You may be dealing with someone that's generous, ins inspirational, dramatic, or uh, driven, okay? But 
or this is a fire sign. It could be either or. I see fire here. It could be a, um, you're dealing also with a uh, Leo, like you, like yourself, Sagittarius or, uh, or Aries. They're asking you to communicate clearly. Use that throat chakra and communicate clearly. And a lot of you are feeling fogged in, okay, not seeing things very clearly right now. They want you to go slow and take time. Go slow and take time. Now we're going to go for pack number three. Pack number three, it says, explore your options. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see, understand, and access all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life purpose. Okay, so explore your options. For a lot of you, this is going to be a passionate relationship. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. It's very passionate. You got also divine timing here for you, Leo. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. Okay. And this could be also a fire energy as well. Energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. They want you to listen to your intuition, Leo. Listen to your intuition. And right now you are on known you're on unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. That's why maybe a lot of you cannot see clearly. Or even though you you got the Ace of Swords that you could see things clearly, some of you still feel that you are on known territory and you feel like um, you don't know where you're going. But I feel that everything will be okay with you, Leo. You did get a beautiful reading. Uh, so um, I will be back for the month of October to give you your October reading. So I hope you enjoy the reading and know that I love you, Leo. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.